good morning uh, students i welcome you all for the another session all right uh, today we'll going to study uh, what is balance section under info section and over info section so this is important uh, thing you have to remember basically we'll going to design the three different sections that is beam beam will be designed three different sections like uh, balance section under info section and over info section so how these are classified and what you mean by this balanced under info and over info sections we'll going to see again if you consider this is a cross section of the beam uh, width of the beam is b and at new oh, overall depth is capital d and this is a depth small d will be the depth from this to center of the steel bar okay so again if you draw the strain diagram this is a strain diagram okay so now this is what neutral axis you have seen in the previous uh, sessions also what to be my neutral axis so it is a axis where uh, right stress and strain will be zero if you go above this okay so here will be the maximum compressive stress or compressive strain and here in this steel bar maximum tensile stress or tension will be there so this is the axis where exactly there is no stress no strain no compressive stress no tensile stress so this will be neutral axis now if you draw the strain diagram okay so this portion is a compression zone and this is a tension zone okay strain now see here what is this this is the maximum strain in the concrete at the time of failure maximum strain in the concrete is 0.0035 and what is the maximum strain in steel steel bar at the time of failure it is fy divided by 1.15 es plus 0.002 so this is the maximum strain in steel this is the maximum strain in concrete this is strain diagram okay strain in concrete strain in steel and see this is depth from the stop fiber to neutral axis is xu okay actual neutral axis depth and similarly i can write xu is equal to xu max or xu limit for the limiting condition yesterday you have seen okay what do you mean by limiting condition okay now first consider this uh, what is the balance section but before that let us see so when the load comes on the beam beam will going to bend so due to this load stresses and strains will going to be developed in the beam and see that see here strain will going to vary strain will going to change across the depth of the beam okay so, uh, depth of the beam so one edge of the beam is in maximum compression and the other edge it is in maximum tension now see here here it is strain is zero okay as you go up at the top fiber this is the top fiber of the concrete beam it is a maximum compression okay this is the maximum compression and as you come below towards this neutral axis from the neutral axis this is exactly at the place of steel reinforcement this is the maximum tension in the steel bar maximum strain in the steel bar or maximum stress in the or strain in the concrete okay so one one edge of the beam is in maximum compression so this edge will be maximum compression and this edge will be maximum tension okay hence section where the depth across the depth okay if you consider the total section across the depth at somewhere at somewhere the an axis uh, there is no stresses stress will be zero here okay or strain will be zero so such axis is called as neutral axis okay already we have seen that this is a neutral axis where exactly at this axis stresses and strains will be zero okay if you go above this maximum compression okay and if you come below this maximum tension okay so since tension comes here we are providing the steel bar here okay now what is a balanced section now as the name indicates balanced 
so when you can say that the beam is a balanced section see balanced section is a section in which steel reinforcement is provided in a such a way that the strain in concrete reaches a value 0.0035 and strain in steel this strain in steel reaches its yield value simultaneously what do you mean by this <clears throat> so the balance section is a section in which steel reinforcement or steel bars are provided in a such a way that okay the strain in concrete okay the strain in concrete and strain in steel reaches their maximum value simultaneously means the steel reinforcement provided in such a way that right the strain in concrete that is 0.0035 and steel strain in steel this value so reaches their maximum value simultaneously okay so this reaches 0.0035 that is strain in concrete reaches 0.0035 and strain in steel reaches its maximum value yes so both the strains will going to reach their maximum value simultaneously so the steel provided will be such that the strain in concrete and the strain in steel reaches their maximum value simultaneously so such a section is called as balanced section so for balanced section this neutral axis depth xu is equal to xu max or xu limit okay maximum depth of neutral axis this is actual depth of neutral axis for balance section xu is equal to xu max or xu is equal to xu limit okay so important thing here is when you can say that the beam section is a balance section when strain in concrete and strain in steel reaches their maximum value simultaneously so such section is called as balance section okay so similarly if, I, if you consider the another section uh, it is called as under reinforced section so what do you mean by this under reinforced now the name itself suggests that under reinforced the reinforcement is provided less than under means less the reinforcement or steel bars provided less than what is required for the balanced so if you provide less steel than what is required for the balanced section then it is called as under reinforced section so for balanced section requirement is there this okay so if you provide lesser than this balanced section then the section is called as under reinforced section so what happens if you provide a, a lesser steel okay right again if you can draw this uh, cross section of the beam where steel bars are provided this is a neutral axis see this is a neutral axis this is a strain diagram okay again uh, here the maximum value is 0.0035 and minimum this uh, maximum uh, strain in concrete uh, steel is this okay and again uh, if you see this another this is the xu from this this is x u okay from this this is x u x u limit or x u max so there are two x u we have shown here both are same x u is equal to x u max but here x u is less than x u max or x u limit then what is this under reinforced section as i told uh, as the name indicates the under reinforced sections are those sections in which the steel provided is less than what is required for the balance section so the steel provided will be less compared to the balance section so what happens if you are providing the steel lesser value or lesser quantity what happens right so since we are providing lesser steel okay the strain in steel okay the strain in steel reaches its maximum value earlier than the strain in the concrete so first since we are providing less steel okay steel will going to fail first okay steel will going to fail first then after that concrete will going to fail 
okay so since we are providing lesser steel strain in steel will going to reach its maximum value then strain in the concrete so steel will going to fail first and then concrete will going to fail and this is the important section right normally we will going to design all the beam sections are as okay under reinforced sections why this under reinforced section is advantageous compared to the next section okay now since uh, steel is fail will going to fail first okay uh, then the concrete then before failure steel steel will going to indicate the failure criteria or it will going to show the indication so steel will going to fail first okay so then we can take the precautions if the concrete fail first what what happens so since concrete is brittle suddenly the concrete will going to fail so it will not going to give any warning before failure since it is a brittle material but here what happens in under reinforced section steel will going to fail first means it will going to indicate the failure okay it will going to give the warning so that we can take the precaution so always we will going to design the beam section as under reinforced section not over reinforced section so under reinforced sections are preferred so remember under reinforced section steel quantity provided will be less such that right the strain in steel will going to reach its ultimate value first then concrete okay so then the third section is over reinforced section so what do you mean by this over reinforced section so again now if you draw the um, cross section of the beam strain diagram and again uh, this x u and x u max so same here over reinforced section over reinforced section means over means more so reinforcement will be provided more than the balance section okay so steel provided will be more compared to the uh, the balance section so what happens if you provide more steel okay if you, what happens if you provide more steel so over reinforced sections are those sections in which steel provided is more than what is required for the balance section so steel provided will be more than the what is required for the balance section so that concrete reaches no sir concrete reaches its strain value earlier than the steel okay in this happen in this case what happens since we are providing more steel okay since we are providing more steel right the steel will not going to fail first concrete will going to fail first because the strain in concrete reaches its maximum value earlier than the strain in the steel okay so when the strain in concrete reaches its maximum value right when it reaches 0.0035 strain in concrete still strain in steel will not going to reach its maximum value so it reaches its maximum value 0.0035 then it will going to fail means in this over reinforced section since steel provided will be more okay concrete will going to fail first so as you know since concrete is a brittle material so when it fails suddenly it will going to fail without giving any warning without giving any warning so concrete will going to fail first and this is most dangerous condition okay because concrete will going to fail suddenly without any warning so suddenly it will going to collapse okay so always we avoid the design of over reinforced sections we will not going to design the over reinforced sections because concrete fails first and without any warning it will going to fail so since con steel provided will be more okay than the concrete okay so therefore concrete will going to fail first so but normally what happens we the civil engineers always uh, have the mentality that if you provide more steel it will be more strong right normally we say that if you provide more number of bars or more steel okay so it will be safe no okay so if you provide more steel bar right we will going to make that section as 
over reinforced section and over reinforced sections are always dangerous because concrete will going to fail first and without giving any warning okay so this is the most important thing you have to remember okay so in over reinforced section again this c x u that is this is a x u from this top fiber to this where the neutral axis is there so that is called as x u so x u is greater than x u limit okay x u is greater than the x u limit for over reinforced sections so basically there are three sections okay one is balance section in which steel quantity is provided in such a way that the strain in concrete and strain in steel reaches their maximum value simultaneously that is called as balance section and for balance section x u is equal to x u limit then under reinforced section so name indicates steel provided will be less than the required for the balance section such that okay so which will going to achieve its uh, strain value earlier okay so the st strain in steel will going to reach its maximum value earlier than the concrete means steel will going to fail first and before failure it will going to give the warning it will going to show the indications so that you can take the pre precautions so in under info section xu that is actual neutral axis depth is less than limiting neutral axis depth xu limit then uh, what is over info section okay so over info section the name indicates that steel provided will be more than the required for the balance section so that in this section concrete will going to fail first because okay the steel provided will be more and the strain in concrete reaches its maximum value then it will going to fail okay concrete fails first and without any warning it will going to fail and this is the most dangerous sections as far as possible design in design we will going to avoid the over reinforced section either you can design the beam as balance section or you can design the most suitable section is under reinforced section so that steel will going to fail first and since it is a okay not a brittle material it is a elastic material so before failure it will going to show the warning or it will going to give the warning so that's why we prefer under reinforced section always okay so these are the three sections based on right which in which material strain will going to reach its maximum value will going to divide that is balance section under reinforced section and over reinforced section so similarly for us how much steel requirement for an under reinforced section so see this uh, calculation so mu it is the ultimate moment of resistance or it is also called as factored moment now here onwards when you when we write m u okay capital m means moment so m u ultimate moment or factored moment or limiting moment so m u is equal to already we have seen that this equation okay so using this equation we can find out the steel quantity required for the balance section so another uh, if you solve this uh, equation as a quadratic equation we will going to get the percentage of steel so in terms of percentage we can calculate pt is equal to this is the final expression we have to remember that is pt is equal to pt means percentage of steel 50 into bracket 1 minus under the root 1 minus 4.6 upon fck mu divided by bd square then whole divided by fy upon fck so fy is st yield strength of or characteristic strength of steel fck is characteristic strength of concrete mu is ultimate moment b is width of the beam small d is effective depth of the beam so from this equation you can calculate the percentage of steel so once if you calculate the percentage you can calculate the area of steel now finally uh, we will going to write some uh, equations whatever we have studied in the previous uh, sessions now make uh, two sections one is uh, under reinforced condition or next limiting 
state condition okay so now depth of neutral axis x u right or you can find out x u by d in the previous uh, classes we have seen that x u by d is equal to 2.42 f y upon f c k into a s t upon b d okay this is for under reinforced condition now if it is limiting condition right so we'll going to limit that we'll not going to design over reinforced okay we'll going to restrict the section as limiting condition in limiting condition okay x u becomes what x u max we have seen already so x u max upon d wherever x u is there you can put x u max so x u max upon d and uh, this x u max we can found out like this 0 0.0035 divided by 0 0.005 plus 0 0.87 fy upon es in yesterday's class we have seen this okay then what is lever arm for this condition z is equal to d minus 0.42 x u and for this condition z is equal to d minus 0.42 in place of x u you can put x u max and how we are going to find out moment of resistance m u or ultimate moment of resistance or factored moment m u is equal to 0.36 f c k x u upon d into bracket 1 minus 0.42 x u by d into b d square ok now what, what is the moment of resistance for limiting condition wherever x u is, x u is there you can put x u max so therefore m u becomes m u limit so m u limit is equal to 0.36 f c k divided by d f c k divided by d then 1 minus 0.42 x u max upon d so here in place of x u you can put x u max so m u limit is equal to 0.36 x u max upon d x u max upon d into bracket 1 minus 0.42 x u max upon d okay x u max upon d into f c k b d square f c k b d square or yesterday we have seen that uh, this formula can be simplified by putting x u max upon d value so for 250 grade steel for 250 grade steel what is this m u limit m u limit is equal to 0.148 f c k b d square 0.148 f c k b d square for f e 415 m u limit directly m u limit value 0.138 f c k b d square and for f e 500 m u limit is equal to 0.133 f c k b d square for the three grades different grades this m u limit well can be calculated like this so finally so what is the percentage of steel required so you can calculate this percentage steel is equal to 50 just now you have seen this well uh, formula percentage is equal to 50 into bracket 1 minus under the root 1 minus 4.6 m u upon f c k b d square whole divided by f y upon fck and for this limiting condition percentage limit that is pt limit right equal to 41.4 into fck upon fr into x u max upon d so please remember this table whatever under info section and limiting condition what are the formulas we will go into use so once again i request write down all these expressions okay separately and uh, keep in uh, whenever you are studying keep this uh, chart ready so that you can easily remember the uh, all these expressions i hope you understood this so today's section is important that is uh, how we will going to classify section as balance section under info section and over info section then what is the advantage of under info sections why under info sections are preferred right and why over reinforced sections are avoided okay so this is an important session so thank you very much for attending uh, this session so next uh, session we'll start with the problems that is analysis of problems